Right, we're going to talk today about how to make a multimedia kiosk using PowerPoint, something that most of us already know how to use and use it in a slightly different way to help your students think about how they can create a digital or multimodal text. The idea of a kiosk is simply to disable the normal function that PowerPoint has to be able to advance the slides in a linear fashion, slide one, slide two, slide three, etc and make it navigatable through either hyperlinks or interactive buttons or some other links that you put onto the PowerPoint presentation. The way that you, you create a kiosk is using the slideshow menu up here. You click on set up slideshow and you have this little dialog box that pops up. PowerPoint is usually set to uh, a type of show that's presented by a speaker which allows you to click through the slides. We're going to use this option browse at a kiosk and press OK. When I play the slideshow now and you might like to try this as well if you're following along with me stop the video and have a bit of a try. If I try and click in the normal fashion the PowerPoint presentation doesn't do anything because I, what I need is something to move around the PowerPoint and I haven't set up any buttons or links so let's go and do that now. I'll just escape out of that. You can do this in a number of ways uh, using the insert menu and inserting a shape right at the very bottom of that list there's a series of action buttons. Now those action buttons you can place on your slide to be interactive, they can play a sound, advance a slide, open a document. Um, some of them already have predetermined actions and there's also a blank one here at the end. I'm going to choose this action button called a home button and you'll notice it doesn't pop onto the screen straight away. I get a sort of a cross um, out of my cursor and that's because I need to click and drag the button to the size that I require onto my slide. Once I do that, PowerPoint gives me the option of checking where that button is going to hyperlink to. At the moment, whenever it's clicked, it'll go back to the first slide. You can see we also have some other options here for getting it to play a sound when it's clicked and so forth. I'm just going to leave it at its normal setting. When it's clicked, go back to the first slide and OK. Now I've got that action button, I'm going to paste that onto every other slide that I have in my presentation. And now if I turn my kiosk on, I should be able to navigate around. I'll start on slide three. Start on slide three. And if I push the home button, because it knows that it always goes back to the slide number one, it's brought me back to this first slide. So that's kind of the idea. We can either use these action buttons or we can use hyperlinks. So I've set up a list of text here for each of the slides and I'll just show you how you can link from the text to a particular slide. I'm going to insert a hyperlink and the way I'm going to do it is this. Instead of uh, linking to an existing web page, I'm going to link to a place in this document and because this document is a slideshow I'm going to ask it to link to slide number two and it's giving me a little miniature there which corresponds with the platypus and say OK. Same for the next one. Insert a hyperlink. That's going to go to the fish on slide three and just checking my miniature that's the same. On slide four to the alligator and just quickly going through and doing those others now. Insert a hyperlink to the seahorse and OK. Highlight the text I want. Insert a hyperlink and it's going to go to the sea anemone 
on slide 8. Highlight the starfish. Insert a hyperlink on slide 9. And highlight the shark. Insert a hyperlink on slide 10. I've missed out my penguin there, so which slide is he on again? After the seahorse. So we'll insert, highlight that text first and insert a slide onto the penguin. And now if I play my slideshow from slide one this time. Clicking on the home button takes me back to this same page, so it's not going to do anything if I click that, but let's see if I can go directly to the penguin now by clicking on that hyperlink to the penguin page and on my home button to go back maybe to the shark now and onto the home button to go back and let's do one more perhaps this time to the fish and on the home button to go back and that's a very quick and simple way of how you can make a digital kiosk in PowerPoint of course you can make it um, behave however you like. You can have hyperlinks within the text itself that take you to various places within the PowerPoint or the kiosk as it is at the moment. And you can use the same idea to create learning portfolios, journals and uh, choose your own adventure stories are also another great way of capitalizing on this kind of thing. Okay so the final thing to remember when you're creating your kiosk is that you must have action buttons or hyperlinks in place so that you can move around the kiosk and use it the same way that you'd use a web page with links and buttons to take you you know through the the PowerPoint in a nonlinear fashion the second most important thing is to use it as a kiosk you need to click the setup slideshow uh, option in the slideshow tab and choose the browse at a kiosk feature which is the third one from the top. If you are practicing this technique however on another presentation or if you decide that you want to use PowerPoint in the normal fashion and it's not behaving itself it's probably because you've still got set up slideshow um, uh, chosen at the kiosk feature as we've just done there so if you do experience problems just go into set up slideshow and just check that you have it either on presented as a speaker if you want to use it in the normal way or at browse at a kiosk if you're going to use it as a kiosk and that's all you need to remember have fun